What is up everybody, Ilya here and in this video we are going to speak about Wix dashboard tutorial for beginners step by step. So here we are on our sites page after a small registration. As you can see I have one website so if you're going to click on select and edit site uh, we'll come to our dashboard and from this page here we can easily interact with every single step. So let's have a quick tour. As you can see in the left side we have a menu where we can switch between different folders home activity site and app context communications automations marketing and seo analytics and reports billings and payments so there are a lot of different options we can easily use and manage and also in the top of the screen we have like this stuff where we can switch between different sites explore with different like app markets updates and releases and so on some uh, tutorial stuff with help and hire a professional also we can upgrade our version and in the right side there is like our account settings where we can manage the domains business emails vouchers billing history and so on also what is really important is that we can view our payments message uh, methods from this page here but in order to interact with our dashboard uh, we need to understand that this is our like place where we can find all this stuff even if i won't uh, show something in this video you can easily try to find it by yourself in the related folders so let's start from our home page basically uh, from this page uh, we can easily uh, start set up our website so as you can see we can like there is like uh, four different steps which are provided by Wix at the beginning so update your site type connect a custom domain and publish your site after that get found on Google so these are the first steps I'm suggesting you to uh, to visit so create a site publish and get in found in uh, Google so to do this we just simply need to click on update uh, do some other stuff uh, edit create a design so let's click on save for example basically why not and uh, from this page uh, we can just simply yeah everything is done so now we can connect a custom domain if it's necessary as for us so all we need to do is just to buy it and then just uh, try to use but honestly we can easily use the uh, wix free domain so let's click on publish your uh, site right up here and if you are going to click on publish uh, we'll successfully uh, publish our website uh, like on the internet so all we need to do is just to wait for a little and basically if you're going to click on publish in the right top corner we will now publish our website so if you click on view we can view it on the internet and now everything is basically done the first step was like completed so now we can go back to dashboard if you click on a week's logo in the left top corner and we'll come to this page as you can see the first step was successfully done and now we can get found on google so let's click on get started and here on this page we need to optimize our website for ceo for search engine so basically let's click on get started what's your business name basically we need to paste uh, something related with our um, website so let's it be like helper man in my case I'm going to click on next what do you serve your customers I serve customers for physical address or within a local service area worldwide let it be like worldwide next which keyword do you want to use in your checklist keywords are phrases so let it be like helper man also let it be like uh, tutorials also it should be like uh, help and how to stuff so let it be like this uh, the next step we need to do is just to click on next of course you need to input the necessary keywords uh, which are suitable as for your um, website theme it's really important uh, only with this with the help of these keywords we can easily start customization on CEO to view how does it perform and then all this stuff like this 
So uh, when everything is done, our website is basically available on the internet and we can even try to find it through the internet. But let's have a quick tour on our menu. So from homepage now, we can easily still find these interactions. From the activity, we can uh, find all the analytics about our website. So here there will be like all the information like site sessions, unique visitors, click to content, latest uh, email campaigns, invoices, site and app, recently active contacts, Facebook and Instagram apps and so on. From the, so from this page, we can easily analyze all the data and do some other stuff. On the site and app, we can view our website. We can check the site speak, check how fast visitors are able to interact with your site over the last 30 days. Uh, more ways to manage our website, basically about other stuff. Also like there is the option to use a mobile app, uh, get a mobile app for our website and of course like branded app. On the contacts area, we can easily find all the contacts we have through this website. We can easily like get leads and as you can see, we have like three of them from this page we can easily manage. We can filter, we can view, we can delete, edit or create an invoice. Also, we can import contacts through CSV file or Gmail account and we can create contact by simply pasting his information right up here. So basically it's not that hard, just as simple steps as in every single like editor. Uh, also we have like segments where we can divide our contacts into different segments, which is pretty cool. Active subscribers, new potential, also we can create our own uh, segment. On the site members, we can find information about site members we have workflows here and tasks and reminders if you are working in a team we can easily uh, plan our task communications where we can interact with our staff find the inbox all we have and so on we can respond from this uh, inbox and do some other stuff automations where we can like create different triggers different rules so if you're interested you can create it from this page here on the marketing and CEO, we can easily uh, try to optimize our uh, website as for the CEO search. So there are a lot of options like CEO, email marketing, Facebook and Instagram ads. Basically, these are folders are for the marketing mostly. And on the analytics and reports, we can find a lot of also in interesting stuff about our traffic overview, sales, marketing overview, behavior overview, reporting sites, benchmarks, and so on. So there are a lot, a lot of uh, helpful stuff. And on the billings and payments, we can manage all the uh, things connected with our billings. We can manage our payment methods and so on. So basically, this is the quick uh, guide through Wix workspace for Wix dashboard. Hope guys this video helped you out. If it is, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. I wish you a very good day and see you in the next video. Goodbye.